YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Obi back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. So as you see here, I mean, you can't really miss it. As you see here, I do got my Q Sugar Weasel. If you watched one of my recent unboxings, you've seen I unboxed this piece. Now, this is probably one of the lightest AR-15s. And if you didn't know, this is chambered in 556223. It's a Sugar Weasel by Q. The first rifle kind of coming around this price point. So Q's really trying to disrupt the game with it coming around like $1,400, $1,500. So they're really trying to disrupt the game with this, especially with what this comes with. And they made a lot of bold statements, especially regarding that trigger right there. And they also got a threaded muzzle up there. You know, I had to do put my little touch on it. I had to put my own stuff on it. But regarding, if you watch that unboxing, you've seen that I talked about the statements that they were making. So, you know, I had to test it out myself. So now I got my people over at Spartan Defense that kind of helped me with this review. So basically, you guys are going to get to see multiple people's opinion so it's not going to be just mine i know people's gonna be like oh you have to take it with a grain of salt because it is his rifle so you guys are gonna get to see a competitive shooter a female's perspective and also my perspective you know your average gun owner so that's what we're about to do today we're about to run this dry and really try to test it out got it all locked and loaded well we got to get this all locked and loaded and i'll see how we hit the range oh and while i was packing this up i did run by this bad boy that 500 magnum i know you guys was missing this on the channel I know you guys was missing people shooting this bad boy on the channel. So what I'm going to do is when I head out to Colorado Springs, I'm basically going to have, I'm trying to have Ben take his dab at that, where is it at? 700 grain, 500 magnum round through a 2 inch 500 magnum. What do you think? Y'all think he's going to do it or not? Because I already had Teddy shoot it. Teddy shot it. Um, Dante shot it. So, I mean, it's only right that we have Ben take a shot at it. So y'all think he's going to shoot it or not? Y'all let me know in the comments. But yeah, I got everything all locked and loaded. And we also got that honey badge over there. Everything all locked and loaded. So my boy, stay tuned while we head over to the range. I got to ask you on camera. I asked Teddy. I asked everybody else who came out here. On camera, would you, once in a lifetime experience, want to shoot the 500 Magnum 2-inch? 2-inch. 2-inch with a 700 grain bullet. It's a life decision right there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. It, really? I'm not. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. So this is how we go end the video. <laughs> this is how we go end the video. All right. So there is that two inch. Right now it's empty, and here it is. Oh. Once in a lifetime experience. That is a lipstick. <laughs> that that basically what it is. <laughs> it's about to make me one, man. There it is. Ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! You handled it though. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> how does it feel? <laughs> Guys, so Ben came over here and just, he has a fully auto finger. I don't know what it is, but he just ran this thing like it was a binary or like a G flex or something. I want you to run this again. Show me, show Dan what, what I just see. And this is just a Tiffany trigger. Just build it on it. There's no switch. There's no nothing on it. Standard. Just standard. I just had my optic off of it because I was competing in limited. In, uh, limited. So. <laughs> Jeez. I'm still gonna make it lighter, but. Yeah. Trying to stay on target before going off. There it is. Yo, that's crazy. All right, y'all. So as y'all see, we got that sugar weasel right there all decked out. We got a B5 stock. We got a whole grip, some rail covers on it. Sit it right next to that honey badger. And to test it out, we got my people over at Spartan Defense. I'm Ro, oh. and I'm here to represent the women to see how I like it. <laughs> okay. I remember me, Ben Medina. Yeah. I sent all the other videos, guys. And you also shoot competition, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple of uh, different, you know, perspectives from a female perspective to a competition to me, you know, average shooter and stuff like that. So we're really gonna see how Sugar Wheels holds up. So her initial impressions of it, it feels um, left handed. It's actually really nice. That's a piece of junk. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Wrong side. I like it. it actually feels pretty balanced for even as much stuff as you have on it i mean that's just one end just holding there yeah yeah so until forward back it's just right in, into it but i just kind of like it nice scales nice colors okay specifically to this the one they, that they claim is the best trigger ever made or something like that like yeah because i mean it's gonna be crisp you got your flat weight you're also gonna have your lightweight on it so just make sure we are empty mm -hmm. okay so you're gonna have that and then you're pretty much your Reset now. There, there, 
them back again. Headed over to Ro, let's yeah. kind of get her point of view. Yeah, so. definitely pretty lightweight, um, which is really good. Easy to release the magazine. I have small hands, so that's really nice. Um, it's all really close and compact together. Mm -hmm. This is pretty comfortable. I really, really like this grip that you have on here, that you put on here. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the Holy mat bag, and that's pretty easy as well. So I really like that. Only I like how you have these additional inlocks on here for that extra texture. What is the price point for the weasel? Uh, around fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred, depending on where you find it. Okay, uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Now, what do you have here? This was my personal one that I have. This is a 300 blackout, 10 and a half inch that I have with it. So that was just my home defense one. Very basic, kind of try to build it kind of light with it. Arrow lowers, it's on there. Okay. Upwards, it's been kind of pieced together the way I wanted to, but I mean, even have a feel for it. I mean, it's pretty light as well. Let's see what you have with it. Now just to make sure it is empty. Now this one is a single stage hyper fire trigger that's going to be on this one. This one's going to be getting changed out for a Geisley though. Okay, it's, it's really light screens. actually. Yeah, it's not too bad, but it also doesn't have as much gear as yours. Like I don't have my light. That's on true. It. I don't have my uh, strap that's on there. It's just going to be my red dot and then my co witnesses that are on it. So it's very basic, very simple, mm -hmm. being able to get around quick and easy. So that's all this one's meant for on this build. Yeah. So now we're going to take the official first shots with the sugar weasel. I keep wanting to call this honey badger. So if I call it honey badger in the video, y'all know I'm talking about the sugar weasel, but this could be the first shot with the sugar weasel. Honestly, I like the weight. I did take the um, red dot on the side for the angles off. We're gonna kind of test it. I kind of want it to be as close to stock as possible uh, without all that weight on it. All right, first shot. Honestly, it's, it's, it's loud. So the muzzle brake on it is kind of, it's kind of loud, but it shoots pretty soft. I'm just right in the middle. It's crazy. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually pretty fun to shoot. Man, did you know they went with a stainless barrel instead of a hammer cord? That I didn't know. Okay, so they went with a stainless barrel because they wanted to focus more on accuracy instead of the longevity of the barrel because the majority of people is not going to outshoot the bit you know a stainless barrel regardless so they said a stainless barrel tends to be more accurate than a cold hammer forged barrel so that's what they went with with this and it also uh, makes it a little bit lighter so their biggest thing was they wanted to have a really light rifle <laughs> now, treat it like that might be a little different, but I think it's possible. I, I think it's possible. Let me try it. <laughs> Let me try it. Let me... One second. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is wild. <laughs> it's really wild. But it's a super light rifle. You have to actually pick it up to know what we're talking about. Let me go ahead and clear this out. But yeah, you actually have to pick it up to know what we're talking about. But the weight of it, you really can't beat that. Especially once you get a sling on it, you can hold this all day. Six pounds, like, this is crazy. This is kind of growing on me. So I have a right-handed shooter. Now we got Ben testing it out. There it goes. <laughs> what do you think? That thing does not move at all. Exactly. Other than it being a little loud, just like we both said. It is loud. But, but I think, like, can you imagine running it suppressed? I think that's the way it's meant to be ran. Like, even even just one. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? It's very little recoil, which is great on my shoulder. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So, your, your movement was, like, minimal. Like, super yeah. minimal movement. I would like to see us maybe shoot something four targets at a time. Okay, so so more accuracy? Yeah, more accuracy on this part of it. We could do the blue, we could do the other setup that we have there. We have the stars. Yeah, we can do the stars. You wanna do your stars? The stars That's... will be a little bit harder though. They're gonna be moving. I think that'll be a little bit more fun though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. let's get it. All right, guys, so basically what we're going to do is we have Ben up first. We got him against the star. So basically what we're going to do is you want to try to take out both stars or you want to try to take out We'll just do one, one star. Okay, so one star. You're gonna, but we're we're going for accuracy now. We're going for accuracy, but we also going for time, for time. So as as fast but accurate as you can be. Shooter ready? Stand by. There we 
go. Last shot, 17-17. 1717. That last one kind of gave you a little a little mess, but what do you think about it accuracy wise? Accuracy wise, able to get to the next ones really easy, really nice that's on there. So yeah. I'll give it that. Okay. We're shooter ready. Stand by. Go ahead. Hey. AR15. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> She's tired. She got all of them but one. And yeah, we just gonna chalk that one up. But the time was 78.83. But I'm um, so so when you started hitting them afterwards, did you have to adjust your sight at all? Okay. All right. So now I got my go at it. We got five five little um, points right there. We got Ben with the timer. Last person up. Let's get it. All right. Shoot ready. Yes, sir. Stand by. Oh shoot. What do we got? 10-5. 10-5. Wow. I think I missed like two shots. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I missed like two shots, but. <sighs> I mean, it's it's close to being right there. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it right on the mark, and I it's close to being right there, but I think I could have did a little bit better, but I was kind of nervous. And y'all see, I forgot to put the safety up. Making mistakes. Um, you want to take another go at it? I can do another go at it. Do the ready. Stand by. There you go. 1058. 1058. Look at him. Right now, Ben should be in the league right now. I'm gonna take a another jab at it. Try to beat beat his time or whatever. Ready? Ready. Stand by. What is it? Who do you think you are? Probably 12. <laughs> 10, 8, 7. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Damn, that was close. That was right a good there. one, though. That, I was pretty close to that one. Right that was right a there. good one. <laughs> I was the lower ones, y'all. You said what? You, oh, you just want to shoot the lower ones? Yeah. Okay. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. goes there it goes now now how did it feel with you how long was she holding it for that's better than last 19, time 19. you yeah. cut your you i think she cut her time in half because she was what 771 yeah seven something i think you know it's over time it does get really heavy for me mm -hmm. i was more exhausted here than in my shoulder okay so that's good officially the winner <laughs> ben is the winner of this little competition we had but now we're gonna see how fast your trigger finger is so we're gonna take Five shots at the steel, and they all have to hit. Five shots at the steel, we're gonna time it. Okay. Okay, so uh, he looks kind of too confident. I, I didn't like that little smirk that you had. <laughs> Stand by. Dang! <laughs> oh, 1.8 seconds on the dot. 1.8 seconds on the dot. <laughs> you think you could have ran it faster than that? Uh, on target, I'd probably be about the same. That is crazy. Be about the same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now. That it is all five shots. All five shots. <laughs> that still was ringing. That is okay. That's something. We go. <laughs> we go see. I'm kind of nervous now. We might want to shut this down right now. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that, buddy. Oh, that was slower. That was way slower. <laughs> That was, oh, that's nasty. That was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. I, I, I was trying to find a target, but yeah, I, I knew that was going to be slower. And even my trigger, even me pulling the trigger was, was shorter. All right, Ben, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben against Ben. Let's see how you get it. Stand by. What the hell is even that? Jeez. <laughs>
Was you, it was faster. One point five five. One point five five. That is crazy. That is wild. So, what do you think you did faster then? Do you, do you think it was a faster trigger, or you just acquired your sight faster? Uh, acquired sight a lot faster with it because mm -hmm. this one was pulled down a little bit. Because I moved it up on the first one just a little bit more. So okay. Now it was backed up, so now it was able to get on the full target. Uh huh. But man, this thing's not. Nice. <laughs> bye. Four eleven. Four eleven, but you were accurate with it. <laughs> I'll give it another run. Uh, one A, one A. I beat my my what last time. Well, I, so he gave me some some tips off camera. I can't tell y'all all my secrets, but he gave me some tips. But yeah, I, I improved my time by a little bit. Mm -hmm. Two two. Two two to a one eight four. One eight four. And it's still beating able to stay on target. Yeah. Making progress. We're making progress. I'm I'm liking this. Honestly, I might give it a nine right now. I might give it a probably a nine, nine point five, but oh wait. Uh, Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments because this is definitely starting to grow on me. Now, We're gonna end this right here. So the winner for today's competition, it goes to Ben. So I might as well give him the rifle right now. <laughs> but like I said at the beginning of the video, if y'all haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, and until next time, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Sure.